Hello and welcome to Field Supervision Training for 2021. As a field supervisor, you're providing mentoring to our candidates at Lamar. You're going to provide that motivation, give them advice, talk about your successes or ways that they can be more successful, give them some direction or a path to go down to make themselves better, coaching them, guiding them and supporting them, providing a goal, and you may even suggest some training ideas or even some books that you've read that might be helpful to the student as well. You are a very valuable piece of our team at Lamar. Uh, you are there to help coach our students and mentor our students to make them those world-class leaders in the field. I love this quote from Sheryl Sandberg. Leadership is about making others better as a result of, a result of your presence and making sure that the impact lasts in your absence. So just remember that. You want to make them better leaders because they kind of came through your path on the journey and you want to make sure that impact lasts. So you are a very valuable key in what makes our students successful once they leave us. As a field supervisor, you will be assigned a workbook. You could have on your list a combination of priority and regular students or just regular students. If you have priority students, those are the students, as you know, that you're going to schedule first. They're the ones that are about to wrap up the program and we need to get them their letter mailed merged out quicker than the ones that are regular students. If the video has tech issues and you're unable to watch it, notify the student to contact Dr. Harrison and he will be happy to guide the student in getting that submitted correctly so that you can watch their submission. If the video does not meet contextual standards, notify the student to make the necessary con uh, cor corrections. Um, that might be time. The time might not be long enough for the minimum. Uh, you want to be sure that you can see that candidate throughout the whole thing. And there's several more contextual standards that are there uh, that you might need to address and have the students correct. Any other issues that they did not follow in that uh, video guideline, just put in your feedback. As soon as you get that workbook, uh, read that uh, email from Dr. Harvey and then send out your scheduling letters as quick as possible so you can start the process and get your students scheduled. Prior to that post-conference, you're going to complete any missing information on your mail merge workbook. Uh, most likely that will just be your name and field supervisor number and email, but there may be something else you need to look at and fill in as well. Review the data in the gradebook. That's where you're going to gather some information about the student and their submission. You're going to find out their campus, a little bit about the town that they're coming from, uh, the demographics of the, the campus before you uh, listen to the video submission, uh, information about who they have chosen to uh, interview and be a part of their video submission. So that will help you as you write up your feedback to make it a little more personal. You're going to view each student's practicum video and portfolio, score that corresponding rubric, Provide feedback on the student submission in the first text box in Portfolio, and then place your feedback, coaching statement, and goal in the Mail Merge Workbook as well. Here's some ideas for scheduling. Be sure that you have options at varying point of the day, points of the day. Remember, our candidates are usually teachers or instructional coaches. Some are counselors, but they do have that job on the campus that they are responsible for. Uh, and with COVID, some of those responsibilities had been added to. So be sure that you have varying points of the day that you can schedule that student for or those students for post-conference. Uh, we suggest that you use Doodle. Uh, this allows them to um, look at all the times available and select and sign up for what fits their schedule. Uh, I also suggest that you ask for a cell phone number as they schedule. That way you can text them information if they don't miss. You can send that little text of, hey, I'm waiting for you on, for this post-conference and maybe you can get it done instead of missing it. Uh, but if you have another system that works for you and you feel it's more effective, then sure, you are fine to use that. Here's some ideas for getting that post-conference completed. Text reminders the day of the scheduled post-conference or email reminders to the attendees. Um, if they don't schedule, then uh, email them and uh, offer them two times or um, offer them the chance to send you the phone number so you can talk through and get that schedule. Uh, and we, we have other ways to do that and I can help you as well if they don't schedule. 
As far as feedback is concerned, uh, as you watch that video, consider areas the candidate might need to work on. Maybe they need to work on communication. Maybe they need to work on questioning, those kind of things. Um, or asking follow-up questions so they can get more information out of who they're interviewing and talking to. Think about what they might have learned out of that activity. Um, was their reflection complete? Did they truly think about what they learned and what their next steps are and what they still need to learn or did they not? Uh, or did the candidate fall short in any areas of the guideline? Like I said, if it's a contextual standard, you're going to email them to get them to correct it. If it's something else, then you're just going to write some suggestions uh, in that feedback. So you're going to type up your feedback and here's one thing we need you to do or, or it will mess up the letter as we mail merge it out. I know we all like to put the name, make a little paragraph, make a second paragraph, that kind of thing, but we need you to make it one continuous paragraph, meaning you're going to put Shelly, comma, and just start typing your feedback. No breaks in it, no paragraphs in it. It's just one, like one big, long, solid sentence kind of, so to speak, uh, with no breaks or paragraphs. Uh, that allows us when we mail merge for that to be a much cleaner mail merge. When you put those paragraphs in, that is very problematic for the mail merge. During the conference, um, you got to remember that coaching is releasing a person's potential to maximize their own performance. It's about helping them to learn rather than teaching them. So you're kind of guiding them. As you do that conference, you're going to ask for their TEA number unless they're out of state and just put out of state in your workbook. Uh, you're going to talk to the student about their performance and learning in that activity. Just ask them some few few general questions. Together, you're going to come up with, a, you're going to ask them a coaching statement and then you're going to come up with a goal. So you're going to create that goal as something that the student needs to work on uh, in order to improve in this area uh, so that they will be those world-class leaders when they leave us. What if your student misses the post-conference? They schedule and they just didn't show up. Something happened. You're going to email them and give them a second chance. Remind them that this is important and a program requirement. If they miss that second time or don't schedule, you're going to email myself the following information. The student's name and email, the date of the missed conference, and give me two dates within a 10-day time span that you're available to complete this conference. And here's my email at the bottom, sln5 at lamar.edu. I'm happy to help you work with that student and get that completed. What if they don't schedule? Uh, we prefer that you send them three, mile, three emails asking them to respond to you and schedule uh, in Doodle or the other method that you choose. If they don't do that, again, you're going to email myself at sln5 at lamar.edu. In that email, I need the student's name, their Lamar number, and their Lamar email. Then I'll go into our system and see if I can find a phone number, a personal email, send them an email, give you that information. You can send them an email as well, uh, and we'll push together to get that scheduled and get that completed. So your workbook. Be sure that your workbook contains all the, uh, inf it will contain all the information uh, of your students for that session. You're going to set up your doodle. And, or the other way that you prefer to schedule your students, let them know the dates and time by sending out that scheduling letter of how that's going to process through. Set up your Adobe Connect uh, so that the students will have that link and know where to meet you when, at their scheduled time. Uh, so it's just kind of a process. You're going to make sure that information is in your workbook that needs to be filled in. Then you're going to set up how you're going to schedule get that Adobe Connect link, send out that scheduling letter, and hopefully they're going to respond to you that first time. If not, send that second email. Uh, and if it continues, they continue not to schedule again, you're going to email me uh, and I'm going to help push on my side to get that scheduled. So what do you need to complete? You need to send out that scheduling letter after you set up the times that you're available. You need to review their videos and portfolio. Even if a student doesn't schedule with you, Please review that video and put that feedback within Portfolio. You're going to put the feedback in both um, the rubric, checking those boxes off, and in that first text box. And then again, you're going to make sure that all the blanks of your mail merge workbook are completed, that your name is there, your number is there, the email is there, uh, the time of the video is there, the date of the post-conference is there as well as the feedback 
coaching statement and goal. Again, if a student misses uh, after two times that you've given them the chance to complete that post-conference or not scheduled, you're going to email me at sln5 at lamar.edu, and I'm here to support and help you through this process uh, and get these students scheduled. So deadlines. You'll find the deadline in your email that Dr. Harvey sends out with your workbook, so pay attention to that, to that deadline. We know you all want to be 100%. You are great field supervisors, but sometimes that student just doesn't schedule and then they, you're at that deadline and they say, How, oh, here I am. I'm just now checking my email. Can you please just take me? Tell them that they will be contacted by another field supervisor next session to be sure to watch their email daily. Uh, if they are enrolled in the last course currently, that which is EDLD 5398, refer them to Dr. Harvey or myself and we'll take care of them. Uh, we have a pretty tight deadline of when we need to mail merge and if we're waiting on a workbook or we send it out and then you do a post-conference, it does cause some issues. We appreciate that you want to work and get these completed on your workbook, uh, but we just have to ask that you have tell them that they will be contacted by another field supervisor unless they're in that last course and they'll contact Dr. Harvey or myself. There will be some changes that come up for the submission starting in fall one. Uh, we didn't want to address those at this time, so we'll send out another video kind of explaining those. Uh, it's, it's not too big of a change, but it is a slight change, but we didn't want to confuse you as the submissions that you will be viewing first will be from summer two, which will be on the old submission requirements. Uh, so again, be watching for a new uh, update on changes for field supervision starting uh, for the students in fall one and for you as a field supervisor in fall two. Here are some training modules that are available on YouTube. Um, if you just need some more information or you've kind of slept since uh, you've scheduled in Doodle and want to look at that or how to set up Adobe Connect, these are just some quick little videos to help you do that. Or if you just need some extra help and support or have some questions, feel free to send me an email. We can uh, either converse back and forth through email or I'll give you my phone number and you we you can call me and we'll talk through things as well. So I am here to support you. Dr. Harvey is here to support you as well. We want you to be successful. We want our students and you to have a good experience in this and not to be frustrated. So don't hesitate to reach out to us if you need something. Again, thank you for being part of the Lamar Field Supervisor team. We couldn't do what we do without you uh, and our students talk all the time about how great their experience was in this post-conference uh, with you as their field supervisor. So have a great session. And again, if you need anything, feel free to reach out to Dr. Harvey or myself. Thank you.